and uh, let's start the video okay firstly good evening folks and thank you so much for joining uh, it is a struggle right now to be a part of any session <laughs> be a part of any work work commitments i don't know how you guys are dealing with it it's been difficult to deal with these things but i think these challenges are interesting because they take you away from whatever it is that is going on in our lives in the news and you know media staying away from it has worked for me i don't know what is working for you i'm hoping that you guys are safe and so are your families but let's come to the discussion on fig jam uh, firstly uh, before even starting this uh, discussion i think very important to understand uh, what what the context of this challenge is it's a very simple straightforward problem statement that you know there are these there is a new product slash feature that is launched there are certain competitors and you know just tell us what are the improvements that the existing new product needs to make so as to match up or do better than the competition sounds very simple right but to be very honest that is the most difficult thing to do and if shubham joins in i'd i'd really love to chat up with him and also tanisha the reason being that once you know the obvious like you know these are the three four obvious features that need to be done the challenge is not so much knowing those features the challenge is prioritizing them and deciding which one is it that you pick or which are the two ones that you pick so that is the main crux of this challenge and how you build up to that is what forms the challenge so the ideas are not very important what the outcome is also is not very important as long as the process that while you while you were you know trying to solve for this if the process was fine i think that helps you later on also in life right uh, that is the most important take away you should have for this challenge figma is just just one object so to speak it could it could be any other product right we did a similar exercise i remember for google meet versus zoom and that was a very interesting challenge as well you can go and check that out as well and uh, and that point i think vikas i can jump to that right now and vikas says and that i re i recollected that challenge from this point he says continuous improvement is what is needed and that is exactly how products are built a product is never shipped overnight no product if it is shipped like even Fig figma the size of that company is no small right or not small right now but that product also will never be at a stage where it is ideal for competing with whoever is there in the market it will improve over a period of time but what has to be focused on like you know what are the major shifts that are needed happens once you decide you know prioritize those things come into play that is what is important not exactly the feature you know ye feature hai wo feature hai how you come to that feature and why is it that feature that you are picking in comparison to the competitor that is the crux of the challenge i hope i hope that long story comes to you and you understand what i'm trying to say but without understanding the competition you cannot start uh, you know this challenge so a lot of you have actually dived into it straight head on that you know this is what it is and these are the gaps in the product obviously it's a beta product uh, the reason why we picked it was because it's a beta product it was a fully stitched product wouldn't be as interesting but even before getting that piece in place you should get into uh, the whole setting that who is your competition that you're targeting because to be very honest when i was discussing this problem statement with nishit i was like and we've never used any whiteboarding tool never felt the need for it good or bad i don't know but we were able to create maybe just because we are two people i was like how is this different from paint because once i tried it the first time i tried it it was just like paint to me and since i am a i i always use and shares your point is very valid uh, i think you mentioned it clearly in your uh, and i'll come to that later on why is this needed figma needed uh, is that it looks very much like an ipad uh, note taking piece right uh, when you take a screenshot you can edit it looks very much like that it's very simple and it's not really a product so to speak you know i never even felt it was a product uh in fact i was classifying it as a feature and nishit said it's a product so before we start we need to be very clear who the competition is some of you have done a good job of it classifying and picking the competition because then the context is set if you pick any random and you know random things and say that you know improve xyz improve pqr but in relation to what because that competition once you set then you know okay okay this is the level that we need to get to and hence these are the users that we are going to target right from the competition comes the users or it can be from the users comes the competition also but it's better to you know because the construct of this challenge that from the competition come to the user 